y'all welcome back to my channel um be sure to subscribe so that you can see any upcoming posts i will be uploading and follow me on instagram at local black child so the first thing that i do when i edit a picture like this is go into the app pixart and i have my three pictures already chosen so i just choose one as my background i then select add photo and then i add the two other ones Okay, so here I'm just cropping out the black lines that were in my photos, but you can easily just erase it out instead of doing all the cropping and everything. So I like to enlarge the photo I'm going to start erasing just to get a more accurate view of it. And then I just begin to erase and make sure you adjust the hardness to 100 or anything like above 80 so it's more accurate and precise and looks more natural and not like faded on the edges and everything. And just to be clear, everything does not have to be perfect, but it has to look natural so that, like, the viewer doesn't see, like, oh, well, there's an editing problem. Like, it's obviously Photoshop. Like, yeah, it's Photoshop, but you don't want it to look like it's Photoshopped. So, some things it's okay to, like, go over or make a mistake, but other things you have to be really, really careful with not making it look fake. So now that I'm done with this photo, I just put it to the side and start the next one. Now that I'm done erasing everything, I just have to size everything up to see, like, does this height look natural or how tall would I be when I'm squatting down like that so you don't make yourself look too big or too small next to other images of yourself. I just save it and then go to my photos and crop it for when I post it on Instagram. So that is it. That's all I do to get my photos to look like that. It's not very difficult, but it does take a lot of time and patience. So thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I really hope you learned a lot from the video.